know that was written was, um, it was an acrostic piece. I saw a picture online of a little girl in the garden with her mother, and this is what came from that picture. Possibly bring the mic up a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's called, I'll, I prefer to hold it, actually. All right. Mother and Me. Read me a story. Let me dream with the breeze. Alone in the garden. Just Mother and Me. Her beautiful dress and perfume so soft, hair filled with ribbons and swirling aloft. We sat in the sun with a warm summer breeze and lingered the day away, just Mother and me. She told me fine stories and fantasies rare, touched my warm cheek and played with my hair. The softness of touch and the scent of her soul walk with me forever in the depths that I go. She sat so still and watched as I dreamed of fairies and dragons and wonderful things. We'd stand on mountains with the books that she read every night before sleeping in my warm, fresh bed. She'd kiss my heart, touch my cheek, oh so true, before dreams came to fly me from my bed to the moon. Now every night, in my prayers before sleep, I ask that our love, the Lord, he will keep. I whisper a prayer from the depths of this sea, a blessing from the Creator for my mother and me. The title poem, Through My Eyes, um, I'm unable to read that at this point. It hasn't even been a year since my mom passed, so we'll just pass that one by. Um, Maybe one day I'll be able to do it and name semi-dry eye. This one is called The Call of the Wolf. I can hear the call of my wild, free inner spirit. With wolf howls with the rising of the moon, he hears my heart in tune to the waxing and waning of cosmic sky. Soul does not die but touches sky with the inner knowing that all is unfolding. Divine plan has the upper hand. Sands of time pass through the hourglass as we wander the barren lands of our fathers. As we traverse the inner aspects of our divinity, the wolf grows in me, courageous, bold, longing to break free, run the vast meadows of the universe, live in the cosmos hand in hand with all evolving sentience. He is keeper of the internal flame, giver of wild abandon. The deeper we look within our soul, the larger buried wolf becomes. Companion to the free, he's guardian of the light within me. Wolf howls, searching for the divine feminine within us all. Can you hear the call of the wild? Sit. Just listen. Wolf will lead you. Trust the sure-footed steps of nature and allow yourself to become lost in the wild and free inner abandon of your soul. <coughs> Who can resist the call of this gallant and noble spirit we call the wolf? <laughs> 